guys and welcome to the Bayern View. Hopefully you guys are all doing well in this particular video. Um, mate, we got we got to make a video. It, it just needs to be done. Uh, but we will be talking about Yal Pellini. He's done an interview. We're gonna to react to that just like we do with other things. But yeah, um I can't I can't lie, I've made some videos for the second channel today. Um I obviously uploaded both fan cams. Hopefully you have enjoyed them. Thank you for constant support. We're close to 3.9k, we're closing in on that 4k, pushing for 5k very, very soon. But one thing that needs to be said, and I don't know if any of you guys feel like this. If you do, please let me know. I feel like absolute shit today. Now, don't get it twisted. Straight away, I'm very congested and I'm ill as a whole. Um, to be fair. But at the same time, I just feel like crap. Now, we didn't get battered last night or anything. Maybe it's me being ill uh, and having the flu. But still, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm rambling. Smash the thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. Check out the socials above. Please check out TBB Sports. It will be the blue badge at the end of the video. Uh, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into this particular video. Thank you for the support, though. Generally, it means a lot. Uh, it actually does, even though we bloody lost when we shouldn't have. <laughs> um, but hey, oh man, hey, ho, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, Yalpalini has done an interview um, with the club magazine. Um, so probably not going to be any hard hitting questions, but either way, let's go. So straight away, um, on on uh, finally joining Bayern Munich after uh, the failed transfer last summer, he said there there's a saying in, in my home country, sometimes a, a train doesn't come twice, but in this case, the, the train came twice, uh, came the second time uh, and the doors opened again. I didn't necessarily expect that. And I find it extraordinarily uh, that this big club never broke off a contract. It all uh, it all showed me once again what a special club Bayern is, and that uh, they really believe in me in Munich. I agree, one thousand, bro. Um, it was clear from uh, the first uh, Bundesliga game in Wolfsburg that you put your heart and soul into things. You were. Uh, on the substitutes bench, and when Serge scored uh, the winning goal, you stormed onto the pitch. He said, that's my mentality. In a moment like that, it doesn't matter whether I'm playing or sitting on the bench. We are a team. We would uh, uh, work really hard in the preseason and really uh, wanted to start with a win uh, in Wolfsburg. Uh, we knew it wasn't going to be uh, an easy game. Uh, and after Wolfsburg went 2-1 up, it was more difficult but we fought hard and when Serge finally scored that important goal I was just happy uh we done it and as a whole team mate this guy is a G by the way dead ass like this guy needs to get more playing time bro because he just is buying at this moment in time like it just is what it is um right uh, then he was uh, asked, togetherness has always played a major uh, role in Bayern's identity, which seems to suit you. He said, I believe that a family environment in a club suits uh, me very well. It's always uh, been important to me uh, that I feel at home at my clubs. Uh, and I've um, taken many found memories uh, with me from each, club, each of my clubs. I'm convinced that Bayern will be the same. Um, then he was asked, uh, he said, play, uh, he didn't say this, the interviewer said, um, players with fighting qualities are held uh, in high esteem at Bayern. We think of um, Effenberg, um, Jens, uh, is it G uh, is it Gmans? Is that who you say that? Uh, and then Javi Martinez. Um, he said, I, I have to tell you, uh, someone I'll never forget after a match uh, with my youth national team against the USA. It must have uh, been the under under 17s or 19s. The uh, opposition coach came up to me and said, you're the next Javi Martinez. Of course, I knew who Javi Martinez was uh, and what he'd achieved uh, with Bayern. But after that, I looked even closer when I saw him play. It was flattering to be compared to him. But I never wanted to copy him. I'm, I, uh, he's Xavi and I'm Xiao, 100%. Uh, you don't want to be a carbon copy. I hate when people are like, oh, yeah, you're going to be the next this, you're going to be the next that. Why can't they be themselves and be as good as such and such? Whatever. <laughs> it just annoys me. Um, 
didn't you always dream of becoming the next Cristiano Ronaldo as a child, a player who dribbles and scores goals? He said, and then Polinia goes on to say, there are things uh, that I was born with, uh, that I am relatively tall, uh, that I am physically strong. Uh, but the critical things is that uh, you feel inside yourself what uh, contribution you can make on the pitch to be successful as a team. Everybody has their role. Uh, there are players who create chances and score goals. Of course, I'll try to do uh, that too, but you also need players who prevent the opposition from scoring. My job is to provide that necessary balance. It, can we say otherwise? You speak, you're literally, you're talking good shit in my ear. You know what I mean? But then we're not seeing it on the pitch. That's the only downfall I can say on company. We don't need to talk about the Villa game. I'm going to talk about the Villa game tomorrow night. Um, hopefully. I am going to watch the brand new Joker. Uh, I can't wait to watch that. But I am um, hopefully going to be doing a show with Luke. Because um, I want to get his opinion. And there will be a show tonight, by the way. Um, there will. It was supposed to be tonight. But we're both, we're both busy. Um, you know, I totally forgot that I had something on. And he's I've got to do something personal. Um... But yeah, uh, without a doubt, there will be a show tonight. Um, I've got some things to do and I've actually, yeah, anyway, I'm talking too much. Uh, expectations are always high at Bayern. Do you feel the pressure? He said, Bayern wanted to sign me twice and now it's up to me to take responsibility for the club, to become a great player for this club. I'm not worried about how much money the club has spent on me or what the expectations are. My focus is on what I, what I can do on the pitch. I'm here now and I'm... Uh, going to give uh, it all in every training session, in every game. Well, it would help if you actually played get the games, but I get your point. Uh, that's what uh, I've always done in my career. Okie dokie. Uh, you, ha you hadn't come across Bayern in your career before your move. What was your um, perception of the club from afar? He said, when you hear Bayern, your first... Uh, you first have respect. Everybody knows this and name stands in uh, stands for in football. It's one of the best, not one of the best. Okay, carry on. It's one of the best football clubs in the world, full of power and tradition. Bayern has everything that makes a top club. Great players, a history full of titles, uh, passion. <laughs> you wouldn't say that about Spurs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck's sake a history full of titles uh passionate fans top management and a great infrastructure with the alliance arena wow uh and the campus which i uh i already visited uh wearing the shirt is a great responsibility fucking say that again man i wasn't gonna mention villa but say that again bruv wearing the shirt is a great responsibility so fucking put the shirt on with pride god damn it man Let's carry on. Uh, there are, uh, there have been uh, a few uh, Portuguese players at Bayern. Uh, did you speak to them before your move? Um, well, what do you mean? Um, have been a few players at Bayern. We have a Portuguese player at Bayern. Huh? Um, it. Am I right by saying that Rafael Guerrero is Portuguese, or have I been seeing the flag wrong? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, and basically, what did they tell you? Um, about Munich and Bayern. He said, I spoke to Yao Cancelo and Renato Sanchez, and they both told me the same thing, that they felt uh, very much at home in Munich, uh, that uh, they uh, loved playing for Bayern. I liked that, and I uh, re reaffirmed my decision. I believe that's how you say that. Are we, yeah, are we going to... Okay, yeah, people just saying, yeah, mate, I don't really understand, to be honest. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you think on what he's had to say. Smash the damn thumbs up, hit the damn subscribe button, all of that good stuff. Again, um, I'm a bit confused on if Rafael Guerrero is actually from Portugal. I'm pretty sure he is, unless unless I've been li living under a rock like Patrick. Um, but whatever. Uh, big up to everybody, though. Thank you for the support on the channel. Much and greatly appreciate it, as always. Uh, I totally forgot to put the banner on. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are all doing well. Just, actually, you know what? Screw the banner, because it messes that up. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well. Smash the thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check out the socials. Please check out TBV Sports. It's actually on the screen right now, probably dead in the center because that's where I put it. So thank you so much. And until then, peace. Hey, hey.